Hi guys, it's Ajay Yadav here and you are watching JS Startup. So today we came up with a new JavaScript challenge number 75 for you to solve, which help you to increase your knowledge. So you can see the code snippet in front of you, which you need to solve in 30 seconds and write down your answer in the comment section below. You have four options in which one of them is the correct answer. Let's see how many people give the right answer. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the correct answer is option number one, which is 22. Now let's see this JavaScript challenge in action. So you can see the code snippet in front of you. Okay, now we are going to run this code snippet. Uh, we are going to use node. So I'm going to type node app dot JS. So you can see we got the output is 22. But how we got this output 22? As we can see, we have a one variable called num and we have one object. Okay. Inside of our object, we have two keys, which is num and the value in the value. We pass the num. So, which is obviously this one, not this one, because if we want to use this one, then we used to, well, then we have to use this dot num, then it will going to point it to the current object. Okay. So we are going to use, uh, we are going to use this num here and we are using an increment operator before it. Okay. So when we are doing some of the object dot value object dot num and the num itself. So what is the value object dot value is the six because we have the num five and we are using our operator. So it should be a six. Then object dot num should be a 10 because we have the 10 and the last one is the num, which is the value is five. So the sum is become of the value six, 10 and five. It should be 21. But why the output is 22 is because when we assign the num to the value, we are incrementing it. Okay. So it should be a six, but it also increments its value itself also, which means that that num is also become the six. You want to see how? So instead of total, we are going to console two more values like this. Like we are going to console the object and the num. And we are going to run this again. Let's see what's the value inside of it at the last. So you can see the total is 22 inside an object. We have a num 10. We have a value six and the num, which is defined outside of the object. It's also the six because we incremented it over here. So it also incremented this one. Also, it's not like at the time of assigning, we are putting the num as an incremented value. Okay. So if you want to know more about this JavaScript challenge, I have given a blog post link in the description where I explain this JavaScript challenge in detail. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell icon for the latest update. Please also share this video on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram and Twitter. Until then, stay tuned.